is the reason of your crazy love of Maria Callas? <laughs> you traveled the globe to interview the closest friends. Why? I don't know. Perhaps it was <laughs> it was destiny. I don't really know. Actually, you know, I, I know it was a love at first sight or at first hear because that's when I first heard her. All this adventure is really unique for me and I didn't even know what really she looked like okay. and uh, I heard one of her recordings on internet uh, one night in New York and mm -hmm. uh, suddenly I felt and heard something that I'd never heard or felt before. In this movie there are so many exclusive clips. Yeah. How do you find it and uh, how do you create the movie? in this perfect way because it's not really simple. Well first I've, I've researched uh, all around the world for the archives and documents uh, and clips that uh, make the film and it was a long time to, to research and to look for them also because sometimes I didn't know what I was looking for. <laughs> the second part was uh, of course meeting Callas's friends and loved ones and uh, a lot of these people entrusted uh, material to me and the last part was of course to put it all together that was really like a puzzle uh, to uh, to put it together in the right way and to be able to tell this story completely who do you think was the person uh, closest to her after your interview after oh the documents? without any doubt her, her butler ferruccio and her maid bruna uh, were the two people who lived over 20 years uh, under the same roof and were the really she, people she considered her family. She was uh, saying, you know, they were her only family. Uh, about the uh, VIP person, what do you think about oh. Nazis, JFK, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you see uh, Kroninger too. Uh, yeah. I, I, I worked with Kronenberg uh, okay. in my previous uh, in my previous life. Wow, uh, <laughs> lucky you. <laughs> yeah, uh, for, for, for some time. And uh, I mean, through this film, I, I, I was very lucky to meet some important personalities uh, like Franco Zeffirelli, mm -hmm. uh, who I met several times, and uh, Georges Prêtre, Alain Delon, you know, people that I didn't expect to meet and yeah. uh, that uh, were also part of, part of this work. Yeah. What do you think about your movies? It's a movie, it's a documentary, or it's a passionate work? Ah, it's a good question. <laughs> uh, probably the last one. <laughs> it's, okay. it's a passionate work. I, I can't really call it a documentary because mm -hmm. it's so much more than a documentary. Yes. You know, it's a little bit outside of the box. In color. It's in color, yeah. of course. And I think this, me. yeah, cinema allows this uh, proximity that uh, you can have with Callas. Mm -hmm. You know, when you hear her on stage, it's like you're there, you're in the opera, because being in a cinema theater is like being in an opera house. And I think also the, the cinema allows an intimacy, an immersion uh, that gives the feeling of a dialogue between the public and her that is very close. It's a close connection that is established and only cinema can allow that. And um, also, I thought, you know, it's a bit anecdotic, but Callas wanted to make a career in the cinema. She actually shot a film yeah, 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 with Pasolini. Yeah. And uh, I think it's quite a nice, um, you know, way to bring Callas back in the cinema yeah, 40 years later so I'm, I'm really happy to be able to do the film for cinema but it is a passionate work at the end it's just that okay. no matter how we call it.